the zinc sulfate that I've filtered in the last week. Um, I need to make some uh, zinc carbonate, so I thought I would show you just a, a simple double displacement reaction. So I'm going to measure out um, 20 milliliters of this. This is a roughly a three three and a half mole solution. So. That's roughly 20 milliliters there. Set that aside. In 20 milliliters of that solution, there's about 11.3 grams. So what I need to um, make a zinc carbonate, I need I either need um, an equal molar amount of um, sodium carbonate or um, a double molar amount of uh, sodium bicarbonate. I like uh, sodium bicarbonate for this because uh, sodium carbonate produces a, a gel. This uh, produces a nice powdery sediment. Um, maybe costs a little bit more, but I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to weigh out, uh, I got calculated out here, 11.76 grams. So I better that. Seven grams. Okay, I'm gonna this thing. Turn that off. So there's my two that I need. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water to uh, help this reaction go along because otherwise I'll just end up with a solid mat. And now I'm gonna add this little by little. add too much this will bubble right over. I use a bigger container. The bigger the container you could add it all at once and uh, you'll need to after you got all the sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate you want to leave it sit for I think upward to four hours to let the crystals fully form and uh, fill your container completely up with water and then this is I got one here finished and uh, what you'll end up with is a sediment of your zinc salt or zinc uh, carbonate and the water will be filled with uh, a sodium sulfate and um, your sodium sulfate you can dry it out keep that for later and uh, <clears throat> then uh, just decant that off and keep your zinc carbonate. You can wash that out, filter it a couple times, and use it for what you want. For what you want. Now, a little trick: if that does boil over too much, like what it's going to do now, you can kill the bubbles with a bit more water. And a little bit more water is not going to hurt the reaction. Okay, I guess that's it, I'll finish this off.